Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at Android 6.0 plus root running on my Galaxy Note 4. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so here is my CM13 uh, Android 6.0 as you can see here, uh, running on my Galaxy Note 4. Uh, you can install this on SMN910F or 910G. A T-Mobile, you're not able to install it. You can install it. Uh, it will actually boot and stuff. Um, just your cellular network will not work because the modem is not compatible. Um, so you can go ahead and try it on T-Mobile just to try out Marshmallow if you want. I've been actually daily driving this uh, for quite a while now. And I actually quite like it. Uh, I actually moved away from my Note 5 and uh, my <laughs> new 6P and my Xperia Z5 because I like it so much. Uh, but this one doesn't have NFC working. All right, that's one of the bugs. Uh, but otherwise, everything is working out of the box, uh, which is really nice. And I've been daily driving it. There is a bug where sometimes when you turn on the screen, it'll be super low. Uh, but if you just hit the power button and hit it again, it'll just co uh, correct itself. Battery life is not too bad. Um, this is a CM13 ROM, and it should give you the new DOS. A uh, DOS isn't really working correctly either, but battery life is not bad. It's not going to be uh, worse than uh, your other TouchWiz counterparts or Lollipop. It's actually about the same, just DOS isn't, I don't think it's working correctly because I had it dozing, as you can see here. Ah. I had it uh, around, I think, 2.30, I went to sleep. Uh, the phone was off, and it was still draining battery. It should be more of a flat line. So, just one note, but it is very uh, usable as daily driver. And let me give you that camera also works too, out of the box, which is really nice. Uh, for camera, you won't get 4K video working, which is the only bad part about it. I mean, but this is an unofficial beta version for what it is, uh, and there is a little bit of lag when switching there. Uh, for what it is, is actually pretty cool, I think. There we go. Let me go ahead and make a video. Um, so if you absolutely need 4K recording, this is probably not for you. And let me show you the resolution settings here. Ah, a little, little, little bit laggy. Um, you can see back camera, I can't do 4K anymore. All right. Other than that, you will also get multi-window. Uh, if you go into settings here and go to about phone, hit the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. Go hit the back button. You'll have this new menu called developer options. Um, to enable root, this one comes with root. Um, just go ahead, go in here and choose AD, uh, AD, apps and ADB or apps only. Also, if you go down, all the way down here, you can also enable kill app back button. Uh, if you want multi-window, if you go back up a little bit, uh, there's multi-window mode. Make sure you activate that. And now, let's say I'm on my Twitter, and I want to open my browser, hit the recent. Oops. Actually, you know what? Open up both. All right. Let's say I'm on my browser. Uh, let's go to my site. Hi on Android. I want to open up my Twitter at the same time so I can watch both. Hit Twitter. Uh, you want to put it on the bottom or the top. All right, I put it on the bottom. Now you can multitask. Um, there is also this other mode. Let's actually try it real quick. Let's do that. Oh, that one will give you the full uh, page. So do it like this and you'll have the browser uh, and the Twitter open at the same time. Um, so this is pretty cool ROM that everything works out of the box and I do highly actually recommend it. Um, the only thing that was I was having trouble when I first installed it, the 4JLT and cellular data was a little wonky. Uh, but I'm not sure if that was due to my network. I think it was due to my network because after that it works just fine. Um, and also Wi-Fi sometimes, like once in a while it just kind of goes off by itself. Uh, again, that didn't happen to me all the time. It just happened like once uh, so far. I've been daily driving this for like three days. If you've been following me on uh, Periscope, Twitter, uh, you know, my YouTube live shows, and um, you probably knew that I was running this, but I've been testing this for a while. 
I do recommend it, so definitely check it out. Uh, if you need S Pen features, there's a bunch of third-party apps like Incredible, or this thing here, which will allow you to make basic use of your S Pen. Uh, but you won't be able to use any TouchWiz uh, apps, obviously, because it's not based on TouchWiz. Other than that, um, you get standard features of uh, all the uh, CM13. I'm going to make this full here. Uh, you can add buttons, all right, navigation box, soft keys. You can customize them. Uh, display. Uh, there is adaptive brightness, all right. Uh, themes, you can grab themes on the Play Store. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'm not sure if it's they're compatible with... Oh, yeah, they're, I don't think they're compatible with CM13. Um, just go look for CM13 compatible apps. And of course, you get all of the app permissions with Android 6.0. All right, it's, it's a pretty good uh, ROM, so I do recommend it. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week if you have uh, SMN910F or 910G. I think you'll definitely love this. Uh, installation, just follow my instructions. It's really easy. Actually, I'll show you real quick. Uh, re reboot into Twerp or Clockmar Recovery. I do recommend Twerp. Uh, there's three files to download. The ROM file, there's blah file, and G apps. All right, in that order, um, just standard installation. Just go through it and you should be good to go. All right, once power down, uh, volume up, center home, power. All right, let go of the buttons when you see recovery booting. And when you're in recovery, um, do a wipe, factory reset, or also if you want to do it uh, the flawless method, uh, fail proof, go to dial the cache race system, data cache, don't erase your internal storage or micro SD card because that will erase everything on your phone. Do that. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Go to install, uh, install the CM13, uh, confirm to flash. Now make sure you download the version uh, I edited because the version that was on XCA, it won't actually allow you to install it. You'll get the status 7 error. Um, so I actually removed that or you can remove it yourself. Uh, and, and then after it's installed, go back and install uh, 511 blobs uh, 1.0 zip flash and next uh, lastly install this gapps thanks gapps 6.00 flash that'll give you play store reboot and you should be on your way to android 6.0 marshmallow uh, that's pretty much it um, do let me know what you think uh, if you need marshmallow right now you can go ahead and install it and I uh, hope you guys have a great day this is actually very very stable I mean based on how early they were able to come out with it. So Note 4 is leading uh, one of the better uh, CM ROMs you can get right now, CM13. So that's pretty much it. Have a great day, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Periscope. We also have the big Android contest. Don't forget to enter that. I'll have the link in the description. And as always, I'll stay.